Hi guys, welcome to Macavilly TV. Uh, this is not really like a planned or um, any video which I actually know where I'm going. I've literally um, just woken up and I'm thinking, and I just had this on my mind. And I can't really see any moral to it, but it may be helpful to someone out there. It's basically, yeah my little experience with a very recent uh, job interview we guys know that job interviews are extremely high pressure even getting there is a bit uh, is a bit of a um, mission um, it's something that still puzzles me that this is the interview which seems to be like the most nerve-wracking thing is something that 99 percent of the population can they do they do it all the time you don't hear anyone get pressurized over an interview all you hear is someone just come out to you say oh i've got a job here i've got a job there you know um now me personally interviews are something that i do you know i don't like i've never cancelled an interview for instance i don't like them um it's very hard but i do go there and i just do go there do my thing um, I've been, oh, very recently, I've been um, trying to find work. I did a job interview a week ago, right, a particular one, and this one was probably, like, the hardest uh, interview I've ever taken. I'll tell you why. All right, it's for a, it's for a sales company, uh, mobile sales company i'm not going to give their name out but they're, they're they're huge right one of the main ones so i'm going in there um and this interviewer he it was almost like it was a reality tv show man this guy it was like the apprentice this guy what he would do right well, normally when you go into an interview normally this is what i found out if you ask a if they if you ask a question um, and they seem a bit more curious about it. They ask you to explain it a bit more, and then you'll explain it a bit more, and they're like, um, okay, next question. This guy, when you ask a question, if he did it, if he found something wrong with it, and with most of the questions, he did find stuff wrong with my responses, he would keep going and keep plugging and keep plugging and keep filling your head with self-doubt. So, for example, this is an example I can think of in all this, right? Um, he asked me the standard question, like, where do you want to, where do you see yourself in five years' time? Uh, a little uh, background on myself. Um, I'm currently uh, on the side, I'm studying uh, for an accountancy qualification. It's not an accountancy degree, I don't have an accountancy degree, but it's a very um, high profile work qualification. You know, this is something that if you go to, if you do a currency degree, you do after the degree because it gives you a little extra boost. Uh, because I don't have an accountancy degree, I it's very hard for me to get work in that field. So I'm trying to get this qualification in full and then, you know, start applying. Because I've started applying and, you know, getting jobs is hard, especially in London, there's just too much competition. So anyway, back to his job interview, this guy asked, what do you want to do in five years' time? Basically, what my um, plan is, is that I'm going to work in the sales field for the time being uh, until the next two years when I get this qualification. And after that, I will look to move into the accountancy field. That's, all that, that's the only way I can, that's, that's honest, right? He turns around and says, really, that's that's a bit of a, a long way to go about it. You know, why don't you just, you know, apply for the account directly with our company? And I said that they're not going to, that currently, they don't accept, they wouldn't accept anyone without an accountancy qualification. So I need to work somewhere else. Now, with you guys, and I said, with you guys, you've got the benefits, you know, you've got the best and place to work award etc he's like no and this guy he's like no 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 I, I really don't understand this you know um why would you go to work for us you know we're not giving you what you want you know why don't you just 
work for an accountancy firm. And then, you know, once you've got this account, your qualification, you can either continue with that firm or come back with us. But why do you want to work with us in sales? I don't want to tell them, look, bro, I need, look, sales is what I've got the most experience in. I need the money. I didn't want to say that. So I just stuck to my guns, really. And I said, look, this is the best bit. This is the, this is the best um, line I'm going to take. And this guy goes, you know, yeah, I still don't understand. And... It was, if it was just this question, that's fine. But he's done it with multiple questions. I was feeling intense pressure until... And I was literally two seconds from slapping, getting up out of my chair and just walking out. Literally. In fact, that that thought process went from my... I was like, okay, Phil, that's it. I'm getting up and getting up and walking out. So I was about half a second from... I was literally about to walk, get up out of my seat. And then I thought, Phil, Phil, no, 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 you can't do this, you can't do this, you know. No, you cannot walk out of a job interview. So I stood there, I mean, I sat there, stayed there, went through the job interview, and at the end of this interview, he says, very well, uh, just, uh, uh, that's all the questions ask. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do something that I don't normally do, Philip. I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to go back through this interview with you, and I'm going to give you feedback. And that's what he's done. He gave me back, and he said, oh, this, you answered quite well here. Here is, and over here on this side, it's, it's just muddled. You know, I don't, you know, I think you really need to uh, think about this for next time. Through this whole process, I pretty much got the impression that I hadn't got the job. I got the feeling that this guy was knew I wasn't going to get the job, and that but that there was stuff in my answers, you know, which he didn't want to see me carry on to a next interview. And this is an interesting scenario because that feedback instantly made it for me for one of the worst. Mid- worst interviews I've ever had to the best and most useful interview you know when you do interviews normally they say um, they also go oh um, thank you very much for that Uh, thank you very much for that interview Um, any questions no good and in a couple of days later you'll receive an email saying Thank you very much for attending. Unfortunately, you wasn't successful. You email them back for feedback. And you say, look, have you got any feedback? They'll either say, unfortunately, we're not allowed to give feedback in this case. But, um, but yeah. Or, number two, they'll say, oh, no, 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 no. You were excellent. That was a fantastic interview. Unfortunately, we had a candidate that was more sued. But, yeah, you can be yeah. I wish you luck, and what we're going to do, we're going to keep you on file, so that if anything comes up, you know, we may give you a call back, you know, that's it, but, you know, that's not, that very rarely happens, um, so that was quintessentially useless, but this guy, he's actually given me feedback, which I can carry on to the next interview, I didn't get the job, by the way, because, you know, they, they emailed me a few days later, but I've got information on that now, so even though he was hard, He made me think about my answers, and that's even before the feedback. So this is the most um, useful, and I'm actually grateful for that. So, yeah, um, this is, even though, even though, you know, you may fear that an interview may come at you hard, and it's something you can apply to life as well, even though you you may fear that life will come to you, come at you hard and give you hardship what I've learned in life in general is that the hardships are the things that you learn from the most rather than when things are going quite easy from you because you're not learning anything so um, you basically got to appreciate the hardships um, appreciate when you get tested because that's when you learn and that's when you grow and right now I do feel I have grown um, so yeah, um, it wasn't meant to be like a social anxiety video, but you can tie that in if you want to. Um, so, yeah.
so yeah, I, I okay, that's it, that's it, I didn't have anything planned for this video, I'm not going to waffle on, so I'm going to end it there, um, I'll be have a little bit more structured videos next time, as per usual, um, so yeah, that's it, uh, please, um, if you want to comment, please comment, uh, check out some more videos, um, anyone watching this wants to subscribe i really appreciate it otherwise i hope you had a uh, enjoyed the video and uh, i'll see you next time on mecca philly tv bye bye